If you're in the mood to be aggravated, check out the discussion that Richard Dawkins has with the creationist Wendy Wright. A question that she kept asking Dawkins was, where are the transitional fossils? And Dawkins would say, well, here's where you can find dozens of them. And then she was like, yeah, but where are the other transitional fossils? And Dawkins would be like, well, here's where you can find hundreds more. And then she'd be like, well, where are the other transitional fossils? You haven't shown enough transitional fossils. How many fucking transitional fossils do creationists want? Which transitional fossils do they think are missing? What fossils should we be seeing that we aren't seeing? Of course, creationists rarely answer these questions because they're not really interested in seeing the transitional fossils. Even if they were specific enough to say where is the transitional species between fossil A and fossil C, it's not like they would be satisfied if you actually showed it to them. Let's say scientists said we've discovered fossil B, the missing link between fossil A and fossil C. Creationists would just say, well, what about the missing link between fossil A and fossil B? And if that were found, they would just say, well, what about the missing link between those, etc, etc, etc. Creationists act as though they want to see a fossil not just for every single species between now and the beginning of life on Earth. They act as though they want to see a fossil for every single generation. They won't be satisfied that human beings evolved unless you show them their grandfather's bones, their great-grandfather's bones, their great-great-grandfather's bones, and so on, all the way back to Australopithecus. And even then, I doubt they'd be convinced. And I'm sure that they know that this is a mendacious and disingenuous demand. They know that it's a demand that can never be met. They just keep saying, where are the transitional fossils to sow doubt, and make people think like the evidence for evolution is scanty, and that there are these huge problems with evolutionary theory. It's sophistry. It's propaganda. It's a public relations tactic disguised as scientific interest.